Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pedagogy in Practice. At the start of a semester, it's really nice to have some resources that you can quickly access and pull into your course, either for yourself or for your students. So that's what we're going to focus today in this episode on, is some very valuable resources that Bakersfield College provides for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello, everyone. All right. So as I mentioned, there are some really nice resources that are provided for you at Bakersfield College that you can use to pull into your course. Of course, I'm sure many of you have heard about the online orientation, which you can import into one of your courses from Canvas Commons. I'm not going to go over that in today's video um, at the start of this semester, um, but just to let you know, you can search for it in Canvas Commons, and I'll go over that a bit later. But there are a couple things that I wanted to point out to you in, right now. So the first thing is one of the resources that I'm talking about is actually a resource page that you can take from Canvas Commons and directly import into your Canvas course. And that can be really nice to use if you create a link on your home page or somewhere in your class that your students can have access to all of those wonderful resources that you're getting emails that they should that you should put in the syllabus and all of that type of content. So for example, if we look at the resource page, Academic Technology has built out a page for you um, that in includes like links to different technological help they can seek on campus, of course the DSPS statements, uh, the BC Tutoring Center, student health, financial aid, and many more um, on this end page. And of course, if you know how to use design tools, uh, you can of course modify the colors and add images if you so choose. If not, this page is already ready, just bring it into your course and create a link for your students. Another resource that I want to show you doesn't come from academic technology, but actually comes from our wonderful librarians here at Bakersfield College, and that is a whole database workshop. Um, you can see that it actually imports into your course as a module, and it starts off with um, some directions about read this first about databases, and then you can take the quiz, and then it walks them through what periodical databases are, definitions of periodical databases, how to access databases, and many more. Now, that's not the only um, in Canvas a module workshop that the librarians have created. There's many more too. So in order to show you how to actually import this type of content into your course, let's hop over to Canvas Commons next. All right, so once you go to the Canvas Commons through the button over here, the Commons link on the uh, side in your global Canvas navigation, you'll notice that you can come up here to the top search field. And what you want to do is just search for things related to Bakersfield College. And then you'll notice that as soon as you do that, a bunch of content is going to pop up. Now, not all of this content has been developed by academic technology. And matter of fact, there's quite a few, as what I already showed you, that have been developed by the library or by specific individuals within a department. Um, and before I go over showing you which how to import those things into your course, I just want to tell you real quick about some things, uh, some icons you should be aware of when you're looking at uh, Canvas Commons content. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first resource page, which is the same one I went over earlier in the video. Here you have is the page icon. That means it's just a Canvas page. It's not an entire course, it's not a module, it's just a page, so you can import that into your course. Now if you look over here, we're going to skip this one for a second, and if you look here you have a module. Now that means that it's just a Canvas module, right? So you can actually pull in an entire module from the Canvas Commons into one of your Canvas courses or into an open shell that you have, and it'll just be a module contained within that shell. And of course, the same thing can be said for assignments, discussions, quizzes that you find on Canvas Commons. Now, when it comes to a Canvas course that's up in Canvas Commons, as you can see here with the Bakersfield College Person Up templates, right? you can see that there's this course here what that's going to do is it's going to actually pull, if you have your main parent course, that's going to pull this entire course content into your course. Now, for the most part, that's okay. You'll just have all this content that's sitting in your class, but it does do a couple things. One, it'll change your course image to whatever the Canvas comment or Canvas Commons content image was. So let's say you're teaching, I don't know, an English class and um, you have a nice picture of um, Shakespeare as your Canvas course image, it's going to replace it with Bakersfield College Person Up Templates course image. So you'll have to go back into your settings and change that. And just make sure that you go back through and make sure you know it, it's structured the way you want it to be structured. All right, with that said, let me go ahead and show you how to now import this content into your course. So earlier I went over a couple of pieces. 
One was this Bakersfield College Student Resources page, which was provided and uh, uploaded by Pamela Rivers. We came together as a team and put a bunch of resources together for you. And then if you come over here, there's also the online orientation, um, the person up templates, and all of these library workshops, which are just phenomenal. So if you want to import a module about plagiarism, just like the workshops library holds, but you can import this module into your course, right? That it can be a really handy thing. In order to do that, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the resource that you want. And you'll see that it has a um, it has like an overview of what the page content looks like. Now, if it's been you if it's been created using design tools, uh, the formatting using design tools will not show up over here because Canvas Commons isn't like a, a source where uh, you know design tools is applied. But once you find the source that you the resource that you want, go ahead and click over on the right hand side here, import and download. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have a whole series of your own courses that pop up in this window. So I'm going to go ahead and just look for one uh, that I want to import this into. So I'm going to go ahead and import this into my Matt's Method course, and I'm just going to click that. Once you've selected a single course, multiple courses, however many courses you want to import this content into, you can just go ahead and check all of these, right? Whichever ones you want to import it to. Scroll down to the very bottom and say Import into Course. Once you do that, it's going to tell you you have successfully started the import, and it may take a few minutes to actually see that change based on the, you know, the amount of content you're importing. Obviously, an entire course is going to take a lot longer than a page. And that's how you import Canvas Common Resources into your course. Have a great semester. I hope this helps you with uh, providing some valuable resources for your students so that you're not having to build them from scratch. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye.